What's going on, everyone? So we're going to take a look at the Triple Qs, which is a NASDAQ uh, ETF, right? So what we're going to look at here is the hourly time frame. Um, we all understand we had the CPI data numbers come out. Market sold off a little bit. Then we tried to recover quickly. But one thing that I do kind of want to emphasize, especially if you are a newer trader, just because you get some sort of, you know, big selling pressure and then a big green candle kind of opens it up. That doesn't mean that, hey, this is the bottom for the day. It's time to go long. Um, the NASDAQ 100 is under every single macro level of supply on the daily time frame. So it's very hard for myself. And I'm not a bear um, and I'm not a bull. I'm just a trader. I'm going to trade on whatever side the market wants to trade on. But I also understand that you know, I'm not going to get caught up in the in the anxiety of things just because, you know, hey, we sold off on CPI. We held yesterday's lows. Here we come. We're going to rally higher. It doesn't really work that way. Not when you're under macro levels of supply. It'd be a different story if we were with a 50 day moving average over the 200 day moving average, um, you know, over its five and 10 day moving average, you know, pushing all time highs. It's very, very different than, yes, in those kind of environments. We are looking for the initial dip off the open. Then we are looking for them to catch support, and then we want to ride them back through highs. But when it when the market is reversed and we are in a downtrend like we are now, uh, this bear market, any green dip, especially on one candle. So here's what I got to kind of want to point out to you guys. In a bear market, you are going to notice that the rallies come on one green candle. Right. So if we kind of just go back, let's just even go back, you know, two or three days here. Uh, big green rally stuffed at supply rolls over. OK, big green candle one hour stuffed at uh, pre-market highs rolls over. OK, big down uh, move off CPI, big green candle rally stuffed at supply rolls over. So it's the same trend day in and day out, especially in. A bear market now if this was a bull market it would be the same thing any big red candle pullback look for it to catch at demand and then ride that back higher it's reversed in a bear market so don't get excited if you think that stocks are oversold now and you think that they're a great buy stocks can still come down 20 30 40 50 percent from their current prices now if you do not believe me you will you will, you will be destroyed in this market. It's not because I know everything. Uh, obviously, stocks are going to come back at some point in time, and most of these stocks will recover uh, very, very healthy. But there will be some stocks that get reset and start new, uh, you know, start new ranges. It, they, they will find new homes, right? The price, you know, if it in 2020 and 2021 didn't deserve to be 200, 300, 400, and maybe now the market is going to price it in between 20 and 50 dollars, then maybe that's just the new price, and we're going to have to learn to deal with it. But kind of getting off topic here, let's look at what's going on with the NASDAQ. Let's look at what's going on with the queues. So currently it is 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We are pushing lower right now into 294.92, which is um, the after hours pre-market session lows from yesterday. So that's one thing that I do want to point out. We are starting to challenge yesterday's lows here intraday, and we are starting to challenge the CPI uh, you know, kind of sell off. So if the NASDAQ does start breaking down below 294, look for those stocks that you like to trade to also be breaking down previous day's lows and look for those stocks to, you know, break down from their demand zone to go to the next demand zone. Guys, if you believe, if you're a trader, uh, uh, whether you are a uh, intraday day trader on a, on a larger time frame, let's say the 30 minute to one hour, or you're a scalper using the one, two, five minute, 15 minute uh, time frames, if you believe, in technical analysis, stocks are going to trade from demand to demand and supply to supply. If we lose a demand zone and start to build under that demand zone, we will go to the next demand zone. As of right now on the triple Qs, the next demand zone is sitting right around that 289, 288, 284 level. So if we believe in the theory that stocks are going to trade from demand to demand, 
if we do start breaking down below 294, the next potential stop for your measured potential is going to be those 280s. Now, in order for us to, you know, kind of look to the other side, which is the bull side, we're really going to need to at least take out a previous day's high. Until we can take out a previous day's high, we cannot look for the dead cat bounce. We cannot look for the green rallies. You need to just let the green candles go and then short the rejections back down until the stock market proves to us it can now take out a previous day's high. I hope that video helps. Guys, join the Discord. That link is down in the description box below. Also get access to that 30-minute training video showing you guys how to scalp the market open. Also in the description box below. If you guys are looking to join my mentorship uh, group where you guys can get access to my watch list, intraday technical analysis like this, and, and have one-on-one -on -one, uh, live trading with me, Definitely go to evolutiontraders.com, become a lifetime member, and I will see you guys all on the next trading video.